Kadiz Park Münevver Mutahar Ruh Şeriflerine Salavat-ı Şerif'e getirenlerin ahir ve akıbetleri hayır olan. Âlâ Ezvâd-ı Tahirat-ı Evlâd-ı Eshâb-ı Efendilerimizin Seyyâle Meyazan ve Resul-i Kerem Hazırat-ı Erbah Şeriflerine Pirimiz Bilal-i Habeşi radiyallahu anh Efendimizin Nîmendar-ı Resul-i Kibriya, Eyyub Sultan Halib Enzir-i Bilal-i Ansar radiyallahu anh Şah Murşidan, Şah Hacı Muhammed Bahadî, Neşebeyn-i Bukhari, Mevlana Celledîn, Rûm-i Mevlana-i Azad-i Halib Bağdâdî صاحب الزمان قبلة الإسلام شيخ مولانا محمد ناظم عاد الحقاني صاحب السيف شيخ عبد الكريم القبيس رباني قدس الله أسرار محاضرة رباهيجن هادم الحرمين الشريف النيابو سلطان سليم هان أبل فاتح والمغازي فاتح سلطان ممد هان وسردار حاكان سلطان عبد الحميد هان جنت مكان فردوس عاشيان حاضر أرباه من أونياتنا على خصوص بو جامن بايناسي و بکن اکثر اشیاء سنگل میش کش میش امام موازین کائم جماعتین و کافی هلمی نرباهی چن الله رضا سی چن الفاتحه عوض بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala ala Sayyidina Muhammad Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمدا رسول الله أشهد أن محمدا رسول الله حيا للصلاة حيا للصلاة حيا للفلاح حيا على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين نحمد الله تعالى ونصفر وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له نشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبده حبيبه رسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وزواجه وسبت خلف الرحشين المهدين بعض وزلمة على التحقيق خصنا منهم على لميت خلف رسول على التحقيق أمر المؤمنين حضرة أبو بكر ومر سمن وعلي وعلى باقي صعب التابعين رضوان الله عليه مجمعين يا أيها المؤمن الحاضرون اتق الله تعالى إن الله ما الذين تقوى الذين هم محسنون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين All praises are due to Allah the Lord of the universes All praises are due to Allah Lord of the universes, all praises are due to Allah who says in the Holy Quran, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Man does not get tired of praying for good. But if something bad touches him, then he is disheartened, desperate. And verily, if we cause him to taste mercy after some hurt that has touched him, he will say, this is my right. And I do not think the hour is going to happen. And even if I am brought back to my Lord, I will surely have the best life with him too. So we will let the disbelievers know what they did and let them taste a stern punishment. When we show favor unto man, he withdraws and turns aside. But when evil touches him, he is full of long prayers. Say, 
if it is from Allah and you've rejected, who is further astray than one who is at open feud with Allah? We will show them our signs on the horizons and within themselves until it will be manifest unto them that it is the truth. Is it not enough about your Lord that he is witness to everything? How are they still in doubt about the meeting with their Lord? Truly, isn't he surrounding all things? Sadaqallah Allah May all peace and blessings be upon the Sultan of the Prophet, Sayyidina Mawlana Muhammad wasalam, who said, Whoever recites salawats at my tomb, I hear it myself. And whoever recites it from a distance, angels present them to me. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin Nabi Lumi wa ala alihi wa sahbi wa salim. May peace and blessings be upon him, his noble family and his blessed companions, especially upon the four Khulafa Rashidin, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, Hazrat Omar Farooq, Hazrat Osman al-Ghani and Hazrat Ali al-Murtaza and all those who follow them until the last day. May peace and blessings be upon the noble Hajjagan, the masters of this way. May peace and blessings be upon the Ottoman Padishahs, the Sultans of Haq. May Allah love those who love them. May Allah curse those who hate them. May Allah return their rights to them soon. Amin. Ya Rabbi, in this holy day of Juma, we are asking help for the Ummati Muhammad. We are asking help for the Muslims, for the believers, for the innocent ones who are under oppression and terror and killing. Send them help and support, Ya Rabbi. Forgive us that we cannot help them, Ya Rabbi. Send Hazrat Mahdi salam to support them soon. Amen. All believers, we should listen to the advice of those who are rightly guided, those who ask no fee. They are the guides of the way to Allah. And one of those great people is Hazrat Salman al Farisi, the companion of the Holy Prophet. That when the Muhajirin wanted to claim Hazrat Salman as one of their own, and the Ansar wanted to claim Hazrat Salman as one of their own, Rasulullah himself said, Salman is from us. He is a member of the Ahlul Bayt. And Hazrat Salman al Farisi said this. He said this three things made me laugh and three things made me cry. I laughed at a person who has hopes in this dunya while death is chasing him. I laughed at a person who is in ghaflat while Allah is fully aware of him. I laughed at a person who laughs with his mouth wide open while he doesn't know if Allah is angry or pleased with him. I cried about the separation from my beloved ones, Holy Prophet والسلام, and his Sahaba. I cried about the terrifying scene at the time when I will have to experience the pains of death. And I cried about when I will stand in front of Allah not knowing whether I will be going to hellfire or paradise. This is a reminder to make us come out of heedlessness. Ghaflat. Ghaflat it is the enemy and it is the opposite of zikr, remembrance. Ghaflat makes a person to live a life that is not connected to reality. The reality of living is that we're going to die. And the reality of dying is that we have a life in the grave. And the reality of the life in the grave is that we're going to have to face Judgment Day. And the reality of Judgment Day is that after we will be sent to either hellfire or to paradise. If this reality is not in front of our eyes and guiding us how we should live in this world, then we are in Gothlet. 
Sahib al-Sayyid, Shaykh Abdul Karim al-Kibri, Ya Rabbani, God of Allah, sir, is talking about how dangerous that station of ghaflat is. Saying, ghaflat, heedlessness, is forbidden for a believer. A believer cannot be in a heedless station. Holy Prophet is saying, beware of the vision of a believer. He looks with the nur of Allah. You cannot fool that one. He will know. He will understand. If you are in ghaflat, then you cannot even understand what's happening around you, which you have to understand intelligently. So we have to get rid of that. You have to ask in every prayer in order to get rid of it. In every dua, you have to ask Allah saying, remove ghaflat away from us, inshallah, Rahman. If we are in ghaflat, then we don't wake up until the angel of death comes to us. When a person is in ghaflat, he cannot have good manners. Good manners, adab, comes from awareness. And good manners comes from knowing the danger that is around us. As Sahib al Saif taught us, every animal in the forest is awake and aware because it is in constant danger. We are in constant danger as well because we are in dunya. Shaitan is here. Our ego is given power and our desires are made masters over us. We are in constant danger as well. This is what a believer must think. But for those who are in ghaflat, they have put a veil over their eyes. The solution to ghaflat is to be awake and to be aware. To be awake and to be aware, to be connected to someone who's going to make you to be awake and aware. To be connected to a guide and to be always in that state of action. It is according to the words of the peer of our tariqat, Shahin Naqshubandi, who said, Das bakar dil bayar. The hand should be busy with work. The heart should be busy with the friend. When we do that work, in connection and guidance, we will save ourselves from Gavlat. Our Grand Sheikh Sultan Al-Awliya Shaykh Maulana Muhammad Nazim Adil Al-Haqqani Qadaslasir is saying, O oh believers, don't say, what can I do? Don't be an evil seller or buyer. You must open your eyes, your mind, your heart. You can't open your eyes and your mind and your heart without believing. You must believe. And you must be able to refuse the kingdom of shaitan on earth. That is the most important duty for us now in our time. To refuse the kingdom of shaitan on earth. You can be like a little ant that was rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for carrying a drop of water in his mouth to put out that gigantic fire. You, the children of Adam, can do more than that ant did. Therefore, this is an important point today. We must understand what is happening and what is going to happen in this world by reason of our heedlessness. We are heedless people not heeding evil, never looking to ourselves what we are doing, whether we are selling evil or buying it. We must be open-eyed, open-hearted. What opens hearts? Belief. We must believe in our Lord Almighty. We must try to give support to his kingdom on earth. We must be supporters of his kingdom. That is the honorable work for the honored children of Adam. If you can do this, you will be honored. Otherwise, most people...
people are going to be ashamed on the day of resurrection. They will wish that there were a crack in the earth and that it would swallow them up. So many people will wish that on the last day, the day of resurrection, they will wish that when they see that all their works, all their actions, their selling and buying evil, they will wish that this earth would crack open and swallow them up on it. Oh, people, it is not too far away. As I was coming to the Juma today, I met a Janaza. I saw a brown coffin. A man was lying in it. His eyes were closed. He will open them for that day. It is so near. Don't imagine it to be far away. No, when you close your eyes, and at the next moment, open them. You will be in that divine presence for Judgment Day. We will all be there. That day is coming for everyone. Fill your life's record with honorable works because you have been honored by your Lord. That is the word of all prophets from the beginning up to the end. But, O oh, children of Adam, your egos Never leave you to do honorable work because egos always want evil, tasting and living in evil. Therefore, do not be with your ego. Rather, you must be with your Lord and his representatives. Prophets are the representatives of Allah. And after the prophets, the awliya are the representatives of their Lord on earth because Allah created the children of Adam to be his Khalifa. Some of them have reached the true station of being his khalifas, but most people are still just candidates. If you are going to do honorable works, then you will be clothed also in the true station of khalifa, given the true khalifa's crown. That is all. Think about these words. And Sultan al speaks the truth. He spoke these words almost 40 years ago. But they are fresh and they are alive. Oh, believers, we have to do something. We have to run after what is good. Death is running after us. We have the blessings of a shaykh, the blessings of a jamaat, the blessings of a derga. These are all to make us wake up from ghaflat and run in the way of Allah. May Allah let us be from those ones who understand these blessings and give thanks for them and not from those who ignore them and lose them. We're asking forgiveness and support with the words of the great Ottoman Sultan Murad. Here is your servant, Murad. Please forgive me. Excuse my mistakes. Erase my guna led me to be raised up under the flag of the Holy Prophet. Wake up, O oh my eyes, wake up from Gaflet. Wake up, O oh my eyes, that are asleep. Wake up. Amen. Amen. Astaghfirullah. 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 Lazim wa nazim. La ilaha illa wa la ilaha illa La ilaha illa Allah wa lahdahu la sharika la ilaha illa wa Allah <laughs> <laughs>